This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so Le Mans newspaper is reporting that a Russian yacht owner has been detained by police in France. The billionaire hit by sanctions had properties in Paris and southern France searched. Up to 60 police officers were involved in that raid. Uh, Alexei Kumachev is the co-founder of the Alpha Group in Russia and Letter One in the UK. And he's being questioned, he's been detained and questioned by police as they investigate allegations of tax avoidance, money laundering and violations of sanctions. Now, according to the Financial Times, they report the EU imposed sanctions on Kumachev alongside his partners, Mikhail Fridman, um, Peter Avon and German Khan in March 2022 for actively supporting materially or financially and benefiting from Russian decision makers responsible for the annexation of Crimea and the destabilization of Ukraine. It said that Kumichev was also one of the leading Russian business persons involved in economic sectors providing a substantial source of revenue to the Kremlin and claimed that he was one of the most influential persons in Russia with well-established ties to the Russian president. Now in 2022, we covered here on the channel that Kumachev had sued the French government to regain access to his two yachts moored in France. Now France previously targeted the yachts he owns on the French Riviera as part of that asset freeze that we mentioned. Uh, subsequently, the judge later ruled that the French customs authorities had clearly misused their authority in raiding the yachts. So Kumachev's court victories, however, were largely symbolic as although he can now use the yachts, he's still unable to move them under that asset freeze. Uh, the former uh, shareholder of Russia's Alpha Bank has been paying for his frozen vessels in Cannes and Antibes under a 2014 European law that allows payment of the maintenance of frozen property, according to his lawyer. I will move on to, now to the next story. This is about motor yacht Axioma. Uh, so Axioma has been spotted sailing to Malta, where she's now docked in Valletta Marina. The yacht was seized in 2022 in Gibraltar as the Russian owner Dmitry Pompiansky defaulted on loan payments. The yacht was seized after JP Morgan filed a lawsuit saying their owner had been added to the sanctions list, which represented a default in the loan payments because he was unable to pay those loans to an American bank. Because uh, part of the sanctions means that they're not allowed to use the US financial system. The owner owed 20.5 million uh, euros at the time, and the yacht was sold in Gibraltar at auction uh, in June 2022. The original crew left the boat after the yacht was sold, and a new crew was brought on to take the yacht to Turkey. However, after the auction, the yacht was towed to Turkey and was laid up near the Dunya Yacht Shipyard until last week when it started sailing to Malta. The yacht was built by uh, Turkish yacht builder Dunya Yachts. She's a 72 meter or 236 foot yacht with 1600 gross tons. And the yacht was bought in the auction after it was seized, it was bought by a Turkish steel company owner, Ali Riza Yildirim. Apologies if I butchered the name. Uh, Yildirim has ties to Dunya Yachts who built the yacht. And it's believed that the loan that was put against the yacht was to pay for the support vessel that Pompiansky was allegedly having built when the yacht was seized. There was a support vessel which, which was reported by Boat International and Super Yacht Times that was being built at Dunya Yacht to accompany Moti Yacht Axioma. Um, now the support vessel, like I said, was in, in build with Dunya Yachts at the time Axioma was actually seized. Now the yacht also popped up on the charter website Camper and Nicholson have an advert for the yacht for charter from $660,000 a week. And it's believed that Axioma is heading to Antigua for the Antigua Charter Show in December. All right, we'll move on. Bit of good news. Uh, a brand new yacht was spotted on sea trials uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Project Jag was spotted in the Kiel Canal Wednesday sporting a German flag. The yacht is reportedly the new build for Shahid Khan, hence the reason he sold his previous yacht, Kismet. Project Jag is one of the largest super yachts currently being built anywhere in the world. The yacht is 122 meters in length or 400 foot, and it dwarfs his previous yacht, which was just 95 meters, just 95 meters or 311 feet. Now, maybe you think that's not that 
much bigger uh, of a yacht. But more importantly, the new yacht is said to be around 6,000 gross tons, which is exactly double the size of the previous yacht. Uh, the gross tonnage refers to interior space or, or all of the space on the, on the vessel. Um, so he has exactly twice as much space as the old yacht. That really t gives you the difference in, in between the new and the old boats. The, the length doesn't fully uh, make it sound that much larger, but the volume really tells the story. Now the owner, like I said, Shahid Khan is a Pakistani American billionaire who owns amongst other things an American football team called the Jacksonville Jaguars and he's just sold his old yacht uh, Kismet to Eric Schmidt who was the former and later rescinded highest bidder of the uh, yacht auction for Alfa Nero in Antigua. Now uh, Khan's new yacht uh, will be delivered most likely later this year because it's on sea trials so it's you know a few, probably a few months from delivery assuming they didn't find any issues on those sea trials. FYI, the German flag is just for the sea trials. There is zero chance that yacht will be registered in Germany once delivered. So we'll move on now to another yacht that has been spotted in the last few days, and it is Fedship's new 80 meter or 262 foot project 714. The yacht was launched at the Slob facility in the Netherlands, I kid you not. The owner of the new yacht is F1 team and Aston Martin owner, Lawrence Stroll according to industry insiders who wish to remain anonymous. Now, it's not his first super yacht that he's owned. Stroll is the former owner of another fed ship, motor yacht Faith. Faith is a 96 meter or 316 foot uh, yacht with a gross tonnage of 2,900 gross tons. And Stroll sold Faith to Michael Latifi, another person involved in F1. He owned a minority stake in McLaren and his son actually uh, was driving for Williams until last year. He lost his seat. Uh, the delivery of this yacht is expected to be in 2025. Uh, obviously, it's just been launched. It's basically, the shell has been launched with the engines and now it has to go and be fitted out uh, with everything else. Uh, the vessel is apparently going to have about 2,500 gross tons. So it's a small downgrade for Mr. Stroll's new yacht uh, compared to his old one, Faith. But uh, Faith was already in build when uh, Stroll purchased it. So this one would be, uh, you know, this is being built from the outset for Mr. Stroll. So it will be more bespoke to his tastes. What I'm going to be doing in, the, in this series of vlogs is recording the journey across the Atlantic. All right, guys, if you want to see the 10 part vlog filmed on board a yacht I was on crossing the Atlantic and beyond, sign up to patreon.com slash sysman. You'll find behind the scenes videos and extras not published on YouTube, including behind the scenes videos from our recent trip to Italy, Monaco and France. And we also recently made a video showing how we make the Super Yacht News videos, as well as the patron chat series and the patron only Q&A series, where you can ask questions answered in patron only videos. And we are actually arranging a new one right now, We're just asking our patrons for questions. And you'll also get early access to YouTube features advert free. We just posted one yesterday. Uh, and don't forget the Super Yacht News channel. It is all the goodness of these videos, but chopped up into bite-sized chunks. Uh, but we now also post the full version of the Super Yacht News video on that channel as well, usually the next day. So check out that. Also, you can type at superyacht-news into YouTube. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any information about any of the stories here or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You can get us at the normal fashion. You can get us on the about page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, on Twitter, and on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.